I'm reading this book and let me share some things that I've highlighted. Honestly, if you went out and talked to women for a year without ever reading a word of dating advice, you'd probably do okay assuming you are honest with yourself and able to learn from your mistakes. Sure, this stuff all helps, but in the end, your best teacher is your experience. So here's a book that's saying you don't need this book, although it does help because Experience is the best teacher. Having said that, let me share some tips for you that do help. Bar none, fitness and fashion will do more to attract women in a shorter amount of time than anything else you can do. Being in decent shape and dressing well will make every phase of the process easier and smoother, from meeting women to attracting them, to getting physical with them, to dating them, to staying in a relationship with them. There literally is no downside to either one. So he talks about wardrobe and fit and fashion. And then he also says, exercise no matter what, this is not negotiable. Beyond simply making you look better naked, exercise boosts your energy, raises your testosterone, relieves symptoms of depression and anxiety, and generally makes you feel better about yourself. The exact way that you exercise isn't as important as the fact that you do. If you like to play soccer, then find people who play soccer with. If you like to do calisthenics and yoga, then pursue that. And if you want to hit the weight room and get big, then do that. Number two is to clean up your diet. Simply cutting off the following things, sodas, fast foods, desserts, candy, potato chips, that kind of stuff. If you just cut those things out of your diet, you'll see a drastic improvement. It's an easy starting point that will give you 80% of the results for 20% of the effort. If you start with the most fundamental basics and cut out the above things out of your diet and exercise regularly, it's impossible not to see major benefits within a few months. And here's an interesting point. I personally think anxiety is the biggest culprit when it comes to preventing men from successfully meeting and dating women. You remove anxiety and trial and error will take care of most of the rest. So the first step to overcoming your fears is to figure out what pattern, what your pattern is. Whether it's number one, the blame game. Number two, ap apathy and avoidance, saying you don't need women. Or number three, intellectualizing that you need to learn more or have certain things in order to be ready. The blame game guy will convince himself that it's her fault. The apathy guy will convince himself that it doesn't matter. The intellectualizing guy will convince himself that he needs to learn and understand more first. In the end, they're all avoiding what they're afraid of. So the key to overcoming your fear is first and foremost, break your pattern responses to your fear. So some helpful ways that he says to break this pattern is take a moment to think about what you're most anxious about. Is it approaching? Is it showing sexual interest? Is it asking a woman out? Is it the first kiss? Maybe it's all of the above. Number two, now write down your pattern with it. So for instance, calling women and pattern is apathy. Approaching women or pattern is blame game. Now create a goal for yourself. For instance, call every phone number I get, no matter how much I don't care and write it down. And the fourth one is tell a friend or buddy what you plan on doing and ask him to keep you accountable. That's some of the highlights that I read so far, up till this point that is about a bit over halfway through the book now. It's funny because if I'm getting a bit personal a bit, my out of the three things between the blame game and apathy and intellectualizing, I was definitely apathy and also intellectualizing. So apathy being, I was telling myself that I'm not interested or that interested in women at this point to go out of my way to pursue women. But as Mark Manson says, the author, and this is totally right, and this thing happened to him as well, I had a rude awakening. I do care. Apathy and avoidance isn't the worst response when avoiding our fears with women in that it usually can't last forever. We're biologically compelled to pursue women, so at some point, instinct will win over. Where it is dangerous is in other areas of our life, such as career, family, or hobbies. The apathy and avoidance pattern is the root behind the couch potatoes and disgruntled office workers of the world. So he had apathy for a while as well. And that's the phase I've been going through. But at the same time, I've been working on myself, so I don't feel like I've wasted my time ignoring pursuing women. I'm liking this book so far, and it's funny that it reminds me that experience is king. Experience trumps any other knowledge, including book knowledge. If I find more insightful things from this book as I continue to read it, then I'll share with you in future videos. 1% better every day, baby. Man, I am very sore from my workout yesterday, push-ups, pull-ups, and dips, because I haven't done it for over a month. Especially my chest is really sore. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>